What's the story lads? Welcome back to GA Fan TV. My name is Aaron. Dermot Connolly has officially announced his retirement from the Dublin Senior Footballers. Uh, he announced his retirement last night, of course, on Twitter. Um, yeah, definitely a lot of shock amongst the Dublin fans um, this morning and obviously last night when the news broke. Look, listen, obviously Dermot Connolly hasn't been that involved with the Dublin footballers since the incident that took place in 2017 when obviously Dermot Connolly uh, touched one of the linesmen and of course was banned for 12 weeks. Um, he did obviously play in, in the All Ireland finally came back, but of course, you know, since then he, he he's he's had very little involvement. Obviously, he came off the bench in last year's All Ireland final against Kerry. But yeah, very uh, very interesting news nonetheless. Look, listen, he looked very good for St Vincent's earlier in the year. I've said on this channel before, St Vincent's would be my club, you know, considering my dad supported them, you know. Um, so I've got, I've gone to a lot of their games when I was younger. So Derek McConnelly certainly was a player I was having a look at earlier in the year or earlier in, in this year's Dublin uh, Football Championship he looked very bright he looked sharp he looked somewhere back to his best and I thought that this year would be his final year I thought he would come back for this year's Inter-County Championship just for the sense that I feel like obviously the change in management Desi Farrell coming in because um, clearly he didn't see eye to eye with Jim Gavin for whatever reason I know Jim Gavin brought him back but I think Jim Gavin obviously realised that he needed Dermot Connolly in that squad. You know, um, Jim Gavin always puts the team before him. And I think that was one of the reasons why he brought Dermot Connolly back, despite whatever issues went on between them in the past. So yeah, look, listen, we'll get into uh, his statement here on Twitter um, and basically what he said. So Dermot Connolly said, I've come to the decision to retire from representing Dublin GEA at inter-county level. I've been fortunate enough to play with an incredible group of players and I have cherished memories for life. Throughout my journey with Dublin, I was lucky to have shared it with an exceptional collection of friends who displayed unwavering support and loyalty to me during my time. I would like to thank my club, St. Vincent's GEA and the Dublin County Board for giving me the opportunity to represent Dublin from underage to senior level. There was always a strong relationship between the county board, the teams and players and this had a notable influence on how we performed. To all the Dublin senior management, support and medical teams that coached, treat and helped me throughout my fantastic journey, thank you. To my parents, my family and my friends, thank you for supporting me and always believing in me. You gave me strength along my journey. Finally, I would like to express my internal appreciation to the incredibly loyal, passionate and devoted Dublin supporters who are always there for us no matter the score. You always hold a special place in my heart. Thanks for the memories, Dermot. And yeah, um, it definitely caused a lot of surprise. A lot of people obviously reacting to this on Twitter and on Instagram. And yeah, as I said before, I did think he would give it one more year. I thought the form that he was in and the fact that obviously Desi new manager of course Darren McConnelly would have known Desi Farrell quite well I'm sure from obviously Desi's been involved in the background with Dublin for quite a while with the minors and with the um with the under 21s as well so yeah surprising you know he he was actually in the Dublin panel earlier in the year um but he actually had a couple of injuries so he didn't play for Dublin during the National League but he was included in the panel which I think shows that Desi Farrell certainly did have him in his plans for Dublin this year but obviously you know maybe it is injuries maybe that's one of the reasons why he's he's opted not to um, take part with Dublin this year but he looks very bright with Vincent's in the Dublin Football Championship so certainly the injury situation probably doesn't if that probably doesn't make sense but anyway we'll get into some of the reaction from uh, from various different players pundits and fans as well so we'll start with Alan Brogan so he says what an extraordinary talent it was an absolute pleasure especially on this day in 2011. Absolutely, Dermot McConnelly. Um, so Alan Brogan's referring to the National League final between Dublin and Tyrone in 2011. Um, an extraordinary performance from Dermot Connolly in that, in, that, in that particular game. And yeah, I mean, he had some wonderful performances at times. You know, when he was at his best, he was the best player on the pitch, hands down. Um, you know, I always remember 2016, he was exceptional. That semi-final versus Kerry, you know, that point right at the end, one of the best points you'll see in Gaelic football. Um, just an exceptional player and an exceptional talent, and it's going to be very disappointing to see him not involved with the Dublin seniors anymore. Uh, Bernard Brogan says, It was pleasure to go to war with this man over the last 15 years. Thanks for all the magic. Something here from Jason uh, Mack too. So he says, Unlimited amount of talent. A joy to watch the most naturally gifted footballers to play the game. A shame to see him bow out. Dear McConnelly, what a player. 
um, and he's shown the point there from I believe the 2016 final against Mayo I think it is or it might even be the 2017 final um, yeah I mean an exceptional talent all around for, for Dublin um, very bright player you know he, he even at times drifted into the midfield um, you know at times when Dublin needed him you know even in that 2019 game versus Kerry at times he dropped into the midfield and he would uh, you know he, he played some fantastic passes in that game as well and um, that long ball that found its way to Conor Callaghan was an exceptional pass, you know, in the closing minutes of that game. Uh, John Duggan says, in the last 10 minutes of the most important and greatest challenge of the five in a row versus Mayo in 2017, Dublin didn't flinch. That was down to Dermot Connolly playmaking in the middle of Crow Park or, or composure as the Dubs picked off the points before Rocks winning free. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that kind of backs up what I was saying there. You know, at times he would drift into the midfield in the closing stages. You know he is very hot headed. You know I think that's that's something you know you can't you can't not say about there. McConnell got sent off multiple times. Was involved in his fair share of controversies down the years with the Dublin footballers during the game and when it mattered for Dublin, he would deliver. He would show up and in those situations he was outstanding at keeping possession and frustrating the opposition. Nate Murphy says here already hearing rumours that there McConnell might be back in with the Dubs. Um, I think this is it now. I think he's. You know, obviously for a long time there, there was there was rumours about him coming back and coming back in. So obviously this is a bit of a joke, but I don't think so. I think you know he's made his decision now, and yeah, I don't I don't think he will be coming back. Um, I think I think well and truly his heart has not been in it since the 2017 saga in Port Leash, like I was mentioning before, where obviously. Um, he got a 12-week ban and yeah, you know, he wasn't involved in 2018. Obviously, he played in America. He was living over in America. Um, whether he would have been included by Jim Gavin anyway, I don't know. Look, listen, hopefully at some point we get to see... Dermot Connolly does not do many interviews at all. Would love to see him do some sort of interview and explain, you know some of his time during his career and, and talk through his career. Fintan O'Toole was in St. Vincent's rather than Dublin colours, but always felt this one was one of Dermot Connolly's greatest displays at Crow Park. Scored 2-5 and gave an exhibition in controlling an All-Ireland final. Absolutely, so this was the uh, 2014 All-Ireland Club Championship final. I remember it well. Scored 2-5 and again, Dermot Connolly, you know, one, you know the, the best player for Vincent's undoubtedly in the past uh, you know seven or eight years and an outstanding talent and obviously he'll continue to play for Vincent's he'll continue to be one of the players first on the team on the team sheet for a number of years and he'll continue to try and win another county title for Vincent's but uh, yeah that was an excellent performance as well for, uh, nonetheless from uh, from from Dermot McConnelly on that occasion uh, Kahar O'Kane never broke stride never thought twice about going on his left never looked like he was going to miss even uh, with all that was at stake this is a score I always think of when it comes to Dermot Connolly the cantona of Gaelic football and absolutely this is this is the exact same score I think of as well and it's the one I was referring to uh, point right at the end versus Kerry um, you know an exceptional score I mean he just he just hits it off his left and it just bends and bends and bends it looks like it's going wide and it just curls the whole way in you know he, he hits it it's just instinct um, and it's natural ability with Dermot Connolly as well um, I do often wonder, you know, could we have had more from Dermot Connolly in 2018, 2019 if that incident ha hadn't have happened in 2017? Look, listen, it didn't make a difference anyway because Dublin still won all Ireland's in those years. Um, but yeah, you know, you do wonder could we have seen more from him in those years. But obviously, you know, I think it's a combination of his heart not being in it. Obviously, what happened in, in Port Leash, that was one of the reasons as well. Um, if we have a look on Wikipedia of the amount of you know his his total sort of goals and points contribution to Dublin uh, throughout his inter county career. So as you said before, he he made his uh, his debut back in two thousand and seven, um, and he's obviously retired um, as in twenty twenty. So thirteen years, in fact, I said fourteen years earlier. So thirteen years, uh, twenty nine goals and one hundred and seventy one points in total across the National League and the um, across the National League and of course the the All Ireland Championship. Uh, if we look at 2016, five goals and 21 points, outstanding season from Dermot Connolly that year. Um, and even you know we look at 2015, five goals, 15 points. 
Uh, four goals, 22 points in 2014, two goals, 29 in 2013, and even going back 2011, 2012, you can see, you know, the amount of uh, of scores he's getting on the list there as well. And yeah, you know, obviously you can see in that list as well, 2017, 2018, 2019, you know, literally, what, four points in 2017 and then nothing in the other two years. And, and that was disappointing for him, you know, that he didn't quite, um, he won six all Ireland's. Look, listen, uh, that's more than most people will win. But it would, you know, I'm sure he would have loved to, to have that seventh um, from 2018. Kieran Cunningham says maybe Dermot Connolly's greatest performance was 2014 v Donegal was unplayable on a day when many floundered said a lot about him. Yeah, he was actually very good that day, uh, especially in the first half. You know, I remember versus Donegal, Dublin had what a five or six point lead at half time, and Dermot Connolly was was outstanding because obviously Donegal were sitting back, they were playing very deep, which forced Dublin to kick from distance, and uh, Dublin lost their composure obviously in the second half. But Dermot Connolly was one of the players who kept his, especially in the first half, um, and he was uh, he was outstanding. Um, but yeah, lads, I mean, do let me know down in the comments below what you think of this news. Um, look, listen, a lot of Dublin players retiring and stepping aside at the moment. Jack McCaffrey, uh, Darren Daly, you know, you had Owen, Owen, O'Gara, Owen O'Gara and uh, Bernard Brogan, who retired last year. Um, you Jim Gavin, who stepped down. Paul Clark, one of Dublin's selectors, have stepped down. And now Dermot Connolly has stepped or has retired as well so a lot of changes in this Dublin side you know you look at the average age of this Dublin team a lot of players over 30 years of age and yeah I mean a real opportunity to potentially beat Dublin in the All-Ireland this year and um, but yeah I think it also shows the the depth in Dublin squad the fact that they've had this amount of change of changes and are still the favorites but anyway do let me know down in the comments below what you uh, thought of their of their McConnelly's retirement and yeah, subscribe and like if you haven't already. My name is Aaron and I'll see you in the next one.